Someone after the game on Saturday said there's not much time to work on things at the moment with the amount of fixtures. So what, what have you been able to, to try and work on today? Uh, a really good uh, <coughs> couple of video meetings. The um, our analysis department are, are working so hard. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're, we're trying to maximise that, that time in the, in the classroom with the players. The players seem very engaged with that. They're contributing, which is, which is good to see. Uh, and then we have to de debrief in Saturday's game. We, we were straight on to the focus for, for Oxford. So stuff we talked about in the, in the classroom, replicate on the grass. Um, some work with some of the non-starters whose attitude and application has been fantastic. They're probably not getting what they want, want at the minute and not play as much football this week as they, they would have liked. But... Uh, their attitudes have been fantastic and they, they keep pushing. Um, so we've done as much as we can in a, in a quick turnaround and feel, at this point feel, uh, feel pretty content with what we've done. And is the message to those non-starters at the moment, the fact that, yes, you're not starting at the moment, but look at the amount of games we've got, your chance will have to come at some point. Yeah, there, there'll be things move, moving around in, in the, the coming games. It's just so important to be mentally and physically ready when, when you're in that position. It's not a position that footballers like to be in, um, but they've carried themselves terrifically. Everybody that's not had as much football as they would have loved and liked. Um, so, yeah, I'm comfortable with, with them being ready um, if and when called upon. One player who hasn't had much football but through his own doing is Danny Mandroyu. How important is it to have him back available? It's huge. Um, I, I love Danny. I lo love his, uh, he loves football. He loves trying to be creative. Uh, he's a very talented player. Any club in our division, any head coach in our division will be delighted to have him available. So we are. Um, and we will we'll have a think about the starting 11 and, and if he features, how that looks. And, and we'll rubber stamp that this afternoon. Um, but he's in his spell away from being available. He, he, he's been first class around the group. He, he energises the group with his, with his behaviours and his talent. Trained very, very well. Um, and then again this morning, he, he, he constantly gives you reminders of his ability. Um, so we're, we feel really, really happy that he's available again. And when we spoke to him earlier, he, he talked about the fact he apologised to his teammates and, and got that out of the way. What's that like from a player's side of things when you, you do have to stand up almost and go, yeah, it's my fault? It, it takes a, a man to do that. And if he feels he, he made an error and, and, and cost people, he, he was... Um, he stepped up at the end of the game and, and made his apology and, and things like that. If, if addressed well, like I thought it was, that you can move on pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. The lads have got a lot of respect for Danny and know how good he is and how important he is. Um, and and uh, they'll, they'll be just as happy as the supporters and staff that he's available. As for the rest of the players, is it just sore limbs or is there any injury issues? Um, everything seems pretty good, to, to be honest, Rob. Um, and Tyler Walker was back on the grass today, which is a, a great sight. Um, but we, we have had a long week and there's a bit of a narrative about that be and a tough game on Tuesday but for me it was a brilliant week like, I think there's a, there's another side to this like we this group of players have gone from 16th to 8th really quickly um, uh, and with, with that they should have some confidence we, we've got to be very very humble and, and go into this game with real humility because Oxford are a top top side but we will be bouncing into this fixture um, we, we, we will give it absolutely everything we feel we've got a game plan that can hurt them we've got to respect their style uh, they've got a very aggressive style with the ball we've got to deal with that but we think we can have some some good moments uh, i think our conversations have been a little bit around what we can do a bit better with the ball we're trying to execute a style here that players like playing in coaches like coach coaching and and, and the supporters can, can enjoy and, and get behind and with that will come a few errors a few twitchy moments here and there but can we be the side that really backs herself and um, the staff will be demanding of that supportive when it goes wrong because it will at times and, and hopefully the, the, the supporters can back us up with that um, but we, we, uh, we feel we're in a good place ahead of uh, tomorrow's fixture. It's interesting you mentioned the league table and the league position there. Some managers, head coaches choose not to look at it <laughs> at all but you've mentioned it there. I guess it's a, a real positive that you can mention the fact you've, you've grown in terms of your league position but also that it's something to be proud of. Yeah, this week's work has, has, has been great and, and the, the focus is on the process in between games, the, uh, the style and um, trying to maximise what we've got in the building and, and um, trying to put on big performances. Hopefully re results follow off the back of that. Um, we, we, Lincoln City, know where we are in this division and, and what we're trying to fight for and achieve. Um, but the progress of the last week is, is very, very pleasing. We really quickly dust it off after the debrief today and focus on the next one and that's what's most important. Uh, I'm delighted with the application of the players this morning with a, they know it's going to be a real challenging game but an exciting one and what a place to play and watch football, the, the LNER under the lights, we saw it last week, 
Um, can we replicate that feeling or somewhere close to that feeling will, will, will be great and it's a brilliant arena for everybody involved. Uh, so hopefully we can put on a, a decent show tomorrow. Where are Oxford's biggest threats? They're excellent with the ball and they've got some very good players, very talented players. They are really aggressive with their structure. Uh, so we will try our best to stop them getting in any rhythm the best we can um, in, in our own way. Uh, and I, but I do think they, they've, they've got some, some bits where you can really hurt them. You can hurt them on the turnover, you can hurt them if we can get some control with the ball, which we'll be fighting for. But they're top side with, with some talent and a, and a very good head coach. So we're, we're aware of the challenge, but we're excited by it. You can see the, see the players after yeah, a, a challenging week, but a, a brilliant week. They're, they're really, really looking forward to another tough test. And their last few fixtures have involved a lot of, of late goals both ways, conceding and, and scoring. I guess it is one of those get fixtures where they'll go for it either way at the end of the game. Yes, it's an aggressive style. Um, they, they get good numbers on the top line and they try to, to have control and, and smother you with the ball. So we've got our plan for that, how we can, how we can best stop that. But uh, I think uh, there's opportunities to flip that around, definitely, which we'll be looking to, to expose. And um, we, we want to finish um, strong as well in, in these fixtures. That Obviously, the nature of the two away games was perhaps you get camped in a bit, and that's, that's how it looks. But we're at home, and, and the state of the game will de determine this. But we, we want to, with what's available, and, and potentially to come off the, off the bench, we can finish strong in this fixture. And just finally, um, it's going to be a, a special day at Lincoln Cathedral tomorrow as well. Yeah, um, I spent uh, half a cricket match actually with, with Colin Murphy and, and a, an unbelievable bloke. Um, put together arguably the best Lincoln side ever with, with his work um, and an unbelievable storyteller. I didn't watch much of the cricket, I was just engaged in what he was saying. And a, a, a fantastic man, everybody had so much respect for him. Um, and yeah, we, we can pay our respects to tomorrow afternoon. Uh, and hopefully we can do him proud at, at 7.45 tomorrow.